Hey YouTube, uh, Freedom for Kaz tagged me asking what five items I'd take if it hit the fan. I'm, I got a lot of problem cutting it down to five. I like to over prepare on gear and junk, but uh, I'm going to try try to get it right for you since he was nice enough to honor me with that pick and uh, show you what five, at least most of what I would take. A lot of my gear is in my truck. And my wife has a truck right now, I'm taking the kids to the doctors. I got a wounded wing. I just got out of surgery, so a lot of this is one-armed. And uh, a lot of my gear is still in my truck. So I'll be able to explain what I don't have, but I'll show you options of what I would take. Now, obviously, every, every circumstance of where it hits the fan can be different. It's all going to vary. You never know how it's going to hit the fan, and if you did, then you could probably pick your gear appropriately. But uh, as a general, it hit the fan. You know, I don't know if you're talking about natural disaster or, you know, Red Dawn terrorists and Russians and Cubans paratrooping from the skies, but everybody has their own thing. Or this radiological cloud coming over from Japan. Who knows? First thing first is I would get some light. Now, let's see if I can do this with my wounded wing. You know, sure fires, great lights. But they need batteries. Batteries run out, and you never know how long the time frame is going to be. So if you're going to carry one of these, you have to carry the appropriate amount of batteries to get you through. I got this little $6 Eddie Bauer on sale. It's a crank light. And although it's not the best version of a crank light, it's there to make my point. It'll charge with a solar charge. And I'll charge by crank. Does not require batteries. Gives off a decent amount of light for three LEDs. It's very lightweight. Fits the hand good. Packs small and came with a lanyard. So a decent light, whatever that means to you, whether it's a lantern and you know you're splitting the lantern with your cook stove and uh, some isobutane, or a battery powered lantern or a gas powered lantern or just a torch like one of these. Uh, a light's important. Next, which is my first pick every time, I should have started there, is a decent fixed blade knife because you don't know what you're going to run into. I love folding knives. I, ha I carry folding knives every day ever since I was about six years old. I, a lot of times I carry two, but uh, you know, I'll go with the old saying, the only thing wrong with a folding knife is that it bends in the middle. And if you're talking it hit the fan, a decent fixed blade knife would be the way to go. Uh, right up here I have a small fixed blade which is easy to carry and conceal. It's made by this guy Morris out of an old file. It's nice. Becker Knife and Tool Campanion, that's another choice. Rat RC3 before they became SC. That's the K-Bar my dad carried in Vietnam. He got him through Nam, so although they have their shortcomings I'm sure it would be enough to get me through most situations. My Elishwitz Nimravis Cub. Very, very, very first edition of it. ATS-34. It's worked well on deer hunting for me, so I get it done. Uh, Chris Reeve Shadow 3. I have another one upstairs as an aviator. And a Shrade Extreme Survival. Out of all these here, the Rat, the Becker, the Nimravis, and... Although this crease reeve is nice for the weight, there's not a lot of blade to it. Although it'd handle most things in defensive tasks, it'd be a little short, just like the rat and the companion. But if you want to go weight for ability, I'd probably grab this heavy sucker here and go to town. Carbon steel, thick spine, can baton it through what you need to if you got to make shelter, and it gives you a little extra reach in case you have to uh, defend yourself against a two legged predator. Any one of these would be an awesome choice. Next would be a weapon of some sort. Not a, See, these are tools, last-ditch weapons. But a weapon of some sort, such as any one of these three. A lot of guys like the shotgun because of the versatility. I do as well, except for the limited rounds capacity and how much space it takes to carry more ammo. But if I was going to carry a shotgun, it would be my Benelli. I like 870s. Um, I had a Mossberg. I'm not a fan of them anymore because mine was kind of a piece. But uh, the Benelli is incomparable. The ACR or my LWRC. Probably go with the ACR because for the added weight, 
I'm able to shorten it up and pack it smaller with the folding stock. And I have a I have an Eberl stock, a Burley stock, however you want to say it, gunslinger backpack. And with that folded, I can stick it in the pack and nobody has knows I have a rifle unless they know what it is. And along with your weapon means you have to have some way of carrying your ammo and your weapon. And hopefully out of sight, like the ACR, can be in the pack. I also carry a, a vest. So, depending on how it hit the fan and how I wanted to look to the public, I would have this vest with my ammo, my mags, and my handgun, the light in the pouch up on the corner because it can't fit in the holster with the light on it, and a backpack. So we're going two, three, four. Yeah, the vest and the backpack go together as one for me. That's how I'm counting them. Knife, light, weapon, and then you're talking vest and pack to carry your stuff. Uh, see, I can't keep it to five. I can't keep it to five. Along with my vest and pack, just to give you an idea, backpack, that's not the one I'd take, but just so I can kick it in to uh, make my point. Well, there you go. Vest and pack, weapon, knife, light, and the last one would be a mess kit. And it would be some way to carry my water and to cook and boil my water. With the ability to cook and boil water, I can keep myself alive for a while. Uh, hopefully I'm able to procure some food as needed. And if not, I guess food as needed. But the last thing I would throw a number six on there, which I, I wouldn't leave without in that pack, would be a poncho. Because I can use that as a shelter and to keep me dry. And I can make a lot of hooches out of a, out of a poncho. So that's my give or take hit the fan stuff right there. I don't have anything to show you for my water carrying because it's all in the truck. My actual pack and my poncho, of course, is in that pack. But this is the wounded wing version. So anything out of these, these groups, and I would add some more. I don't think I could keep it to five. You guys do five essentials. I wouldn't, I wouldn't restrict myself like that. If I was lucky enough to get my hands on some gear, I'd grab as much as I could carry. And then uh, I'd go from there. And hopefully I'd be able to pack up about five pounds of rice at the very least. So I'd have some grains to eat along the way, and I'd try to supplement that with something else as I went. You guys know all about it. You're preppers. I'm not. I'm just a guy that likes to hunt and collect gear and, you know, use the tools I collect. So that's that. Thanks, Kaz, for tagging me. I hope this answers the question a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to tag five other guys on this or not or if I'm going to let it die with me because most of the guys I would tag have already been tagged. And I'll let the rest of you go without having to make one of these vids, I think. I'll make up my mind on that when I post the vid. Otherwise, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, everything's going good on this side. Account's good. Everybody seems to be all right. Everybody's healthy, except me. Got the sling. Had my shoulder operated on. And it'll be a few weeks before I'm up and running again. But until then, hopefully I can crank out some vids for you and get things squared away. All right, everybody. I hope you're doing well. And stay safe.